Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an empties video for you. My bin is actually overflowing, so it is time to do this empties video. And I know I had a couple people asking if I would have one soon, and you're in luck. This is my empties video, which I'm gonna start off with the things that I don't normally have in empties. And then near the end, if you're a regular for these videos, you will see the things that I'm constantly using up. So it's nice if it's your first time here to stick to the end. If you've seen the products I use up a million times already, you don't have to go through the whole thing. So thank you for clicking on this video for spending some time with me today. If you notice that I look the same in a couple videos, it's because I am pre-filming and I'm probably at the cottage while you're seeing this video. So this was an easy video for me to be able to do ahead of time. So I hope you enjoy this and are having an amazing summer because I am actually on vacation and probably on a social media detox while you're seeing this video. So I might not get back to you right away when you see this video, but I will respond to comments when I am home from vacation. So thank you for understanding and let's jump into this empties video. Let's start off with something that's probably going to be controversial. <laughs> so this is the Aesop soap and a ton of people have this. I wanted to see what the hype was about and honestly, what is the hype for this? I used it all up. I still don't understand the hype. Is it just because it's aesthetic? Is it the ingredients? Why do you love this soap? Can you tell me? What am I missing out on? Because I used up the whole thing and I don't understand the hype. It didn't dry out my hands though, so I will give it that. It's cute to look at. I don't think I would repurchase this ever again though. A little too pricey for me to be buying this on the regular. And I don't feel like it did anything to wow me compared to other soaps I have. So controversial probably. I'm sure a lot of you will tell me why this is such a good soap. So please enlighten me in the comments section below. I would love to learn more about it because I have no idea, honestly, as I only picked it up because I saw people talking about it and I didn't know why. So that is not going to be a repurchase unless you convince me otherwise, but I don't know. <laughs> also a good idea from one of you was for Charles to keep his empties. And this was a good one I thought that I would include. And he doesn't go through products often, but he did go through this cologne and I purchased a new one for him. What was it for? Oh yeah, for Father's Day. So I repurchased this for him. So now he could use up the last little bit, so it's done. And it's from Chanel. It's the Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. I find this better than Chanel Bleu or other Chanel's that I find are more popular. This one, I don't smell too many people wearing it and it reminds me of Charles. So that's why I really like it because I feel like this is his signature scent. Well, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I love colognes. Honestly, the smell of colognes, I like more than perfumes for me personally. I encourage you to smell this. If you're looking for a fragrance for your man, this is just such a knockout fragrance. Mmm, is all I can say. Mmm, mmm. I used up two Glow Recipe products this morning, actually. So we have the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. And I really like this because vitamin C's can irritate my skin. I can become quite sensitive to vitamin C's and this one is really gentle. So if you have sensitive skin, but want to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare routine, I would definitely recommend going this route first, and then maybe you can increase the dosage or whatever. Try something a little bit stronger after and see if your skin kind of likes this. My skin loves this. So I would repurchase this, but I'm gonna try out the Drunk Elephant one next because they sent me a bunch of PR and I'm just curious to try the brand. And then I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is really nice and light if you're looking for something good underneath makeup. That's what I typically use this for. It's not too hydrating. It's nice for summer because of the texture. It's not a gel, but it's definitely lightweight. Really like this, I would repurchase this too. Again, I am trying something new for daytime moisturizer, but I will 100% go back to those two if those don't work out. And also, this is kind of cool. I attended an event for Mindful Luxury from L'Oreal Brands. So we have Biotherm, Kiehl's, Lancome, YSL, and Youth to the People. 
and they sent over this empty envelope for beauty packaging waste so they can properly recycle it which I thought was a beautiful idea and because I will have products that I can send in this empties I will be filling up this package for them so they can properly recycle my materials and I just thought this was a wonderful idea so I just wanted to show you guys that everything I will rinse out that can be recycled and put in that packaging send it away for them to properly recycle. I have a couple self tanners here and I always get questions about my self tan. I'm not using either of these two today. I'm actually wearing a drugstore one, which I'll link down below in case you guys are curious. And I have the Mind Tan Double Dark. This is incredible. This is one of the darkest tans I've ever used and it is an express tan. So it develops quite fast as well. So if you don't like sleeping with your tan, this is a nice option. I like sleeping with my tan even though I shouldn't because my hands always end up somewhere on my body and then I get self tanner on my hands. Like I don't put self tanner on my hands but somehow it gets on it after sleeping. So that's an issue I have but this is nice because it's an express tan, super dark if you're looking for that, fades nicely. It's just a really great tan. My tan is also more of an affordable tan I feel compared to other tans on the market. And then I also have the filter by Molly May, which is a go-to of mine. I do like to stock up on this though during Boxing Day because she has her best sale during then. And this is the extra dark, which is what I always recommend in tan if you're going to be tanning is to try out the darkest version because some people don't even react to the DHA in tan. My skin reacts quite well to even light tan. So I can use whatever and my skin is just going to soak it in but this one is nice if you want a golden brown tan this one is more of my natural summer tan because i go quite dark which has a little bit more of a neutral to red undertone this one is golden golden brown so depending on kind of what kind of tan you want i go either way but this one definitely looks more natural for my personal tan the molly may one looks a little bit more like i guess my face because my body seems still kind of red <laughs> and then for the summer i have one of my neutrogena ultra sheer body mist sunscreens and 30 this is oxybenzone free in case you're curious because i know there was an issue with that last year and i'm repurchasing now because they dealt with that and i love this sunscreen that's the first one i have i have a pack of three that ready to be used for the summer that i haven't got into that costco they do sell those in a nice pack if you're looking for that one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners ever is from pureology and i've been missing this in my life honestly i need to repurchase this so we have the hydrate shampoo and the hydrate conditioner they also have a hydrate light if you need that for your hair my hair is thin but i have a lot of it and it can handle the full hydration of this because it can be quite dry and i just love this for color treated hair and for hair that is dry <laughs> definitely recommend this pureology the smells of those are incredible and they're 100 percent vegan ingredients if that's something that's important for you concentrated formula anti-fade complex in there so good for your colored hair overall good ingredients and just really good for your hair i have a ton of new stuff in here that's not just old stuff that I always repurchase. So it's kind of an interesting empties. This is my third video I'm filming today. Pre-filming and I'm losing my voice. I have a mini of the Rare Beauty Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. I realize I say mascara weird. Mascara. I say mascara, I think. I say it too fast to not even know what I'm saying. Anyways, Rare Beauty Mascara. I definitely say mascara. <laughs> okay. Ah, what happened to my hand? <laughs> I'm getting so old, you guys. I just like shocked myself trying to open this. Like, why is there a shocking feeling in my hand? Send help. Anyways, this is what the brush looks like. It's one of those natural gristle brushes and this makes your lashes super full. I'm wearing this today just with a half set, but on its own, this gives me the fullness that my lashes are looking for and it's not waterproof. It holds up in summer weather. Honestly, this is really good. It's not transferring, smudging, smearing, anything like that. So that's why I really like it. The long wear, how it builds, it has everything for me. And then I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Again, I got back into using this and forgot how good it was. It's such a good concealer, but when you get near the end, it's just hard to get out of. I wish it was a different packaging because I go through this quite fast. It's too small. I have another Glow Recipe product. This is their Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. And normally I'm not a fan of foam cleansers, but this is one I would 100% repurchase. I haven't yet because 
just granted the nature of PR and what I get, I like to use up what I have, but in the event I do use up all my cleansers, which can happen because I don't have too many, and my husband uses those, I will repurchase this because that's how much I like it. I love the smell of it. I love how it's effective at removing any last traces of makeup if my bomb doesn't happen to get it. This is really good at makeup removal too. And that being said, I typically don't like foaming cleansers, okay? So that is saying a lot about this one. So we have the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray, which magically transforms texture and amazing humidity proofing powers. So this I haven't had in my life for a bit. I feel like I am getting a little bit of that humidity back in my hair. So this you don't have to put in every wash either, like the K18 that I was talking about in a previous video. You do it like every three, four shampoos and it just provides a coat for your hair that helps with humidity. And this really impacts shine. So that's specifically why I use this is for the shine, but I need to repurchase this. This is a product I haven't purchased yet. I put it in here, forgot about it. And now that's a reminder that I need it. Then I have the Morphe Sour Patch Kids Watermelon Sliced Continuous Mist. This is one of my favorite mists on the market for setting the face. What I love about this is the fact that it is a continuous mist, unlike most sprays, which you have to continuously spray down. This one you just hold down and you can do your face like that. It's just such a beautiful way to set your face. So that's why I love the Morphe one. And also obviously does the job at locking everything in and making it long wearing. So I always repurchase that. I always have one on hand. Already have one. I got the jumbo one this time. And then I have the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is what I was using prior to my discovery of the Glow Recipe Papaya one. This is really good if you have sensitive skin. So if you want to pick this one up, it breaks down your makeup nicely, but I do feel like it leaves some sort of film on my face after, so you do have to go in with the double cleanse, which I would do regardless, but just wanted to note that for this, very affordable too. So I would recommend this. I have a backup of this too already, so I will be continuing to use that, even though I do have a bomb I like even more, but that is just a good price point and still an effective bomb. Another cleanser I used up is the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I'm not a fan of gel cleansers. I honestly just use this up to use it up because I had it, I wouldn't repurchase this. Even though Good Molecules is a good price point, I'm just not a fan of those type of cleansers. And then I used up this Kristen S Style Assist Blow Dry Mist. And I really like this for cutting my blow dry time in half. I was using the Kenra one previous, but I found there was some sort of buildup on my scalp. Ever since switching to this one, I don't have that issue. It's just lighter on the hair and I just like it a lot more. So that's why I use the Kristen S one. I should have shared this one first. Ta-da! We have Mac Give Me Sun, which you can save the packaging for back to Mac, but I am officially done this bronzer. Are you guys excited for me? <laughs> because I'm excited about this. This was in my project pan. I was trying to use up this bronzer. It was a goal of mine, which I accomplished a little bit ago, honestly. I shared it on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me there, definitely check that out. I share a lot of stuff on stories, keep you guys updated. I'm so happy I completed that. So I am doing project pan on the side. So I will update you guys in empties, I believe, for project pan, just things I'm trying to use up. I feel like that's just a better use of my time personally to do that. So stay tuned for my empties videos if you want updates like Project Pan. Then I finished this Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I use the shade Warm Beige. I love this foundation. So I recently got back into using this to the point where I used this up and bought a new one during the sale because that's how much I like it. If you're looking for flawless full coverage that makes you look airbrushed, this is it. It's my favorite stick foundation, is the Hourglass one. Out of all the stick foundations I've tried, 100% Hourglass. We have another self tanner, which I've mentioned before on my channel. This is up there with my favorite of all time. It is from Bondi Sands. You can't even see the name on it anymore, but it's the Liquid Gold Self Tanning Dry Oil. And this one is nice because in the winter, sometimes my skin cannot handle a self tan mousse. It will dry, it will look crocodile, alligator skin, like my skin cannot handle mousse because it dries it out. This oil never fails. It will hydrate my skin, look natural, and this never ever fades bad. 
It's not as dark as the other tanners that I do own, so it's gonna give you something super natural and light, but that's why I like it. It just looks like my skin, hydrates my skin. Nothing bad I can say about this, except I wish it was in a bigger bottle. I used up two of my Urban Decay brow blades, and I have dark drapes and blackout here. I can still get away with using dark drapes for my hair color right now. Blackout was just, much too contrasting to my warm hair. I'm still looking for the perfect pencil for me, but I don't mind my brows to be a little bit darker than my hair. So those are forever repurchased for me. Then I have the Glamnetic Magnetic Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. I'm almost done my second one of these, and I don't know if I'm gonna buy these again, even though I like the convenience, but the price is just so outrageous for this, and I go through it so fast, but it is convenient. I love a brown liner, and I can use my magnetic lashes with this. It's just the price, it honestly kills me. I don't think I can do it again. <laughs> then for my brows, this is my favorite brow gel when I'm not on a budget because most of the times I'm using the got to be. So this is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Still my favorite if I'm to recommend any brow gel to you guys. This one just has a really nice brush on it which you can flatten your hairs, give that laminated look. And the formula is nice and clear, doesn't stick to your skin weird, and it just holds longer than anything. So love that. And then I used up the Creme de la Mer La Mer Moisturizing Cream. Just a little guy of this. I usually have one of these sizes on hand and this I mostly use in the winter. I do have a lighter version for this summer that I'm currently working at. This keeps dropping. You only need such a light amount and it really locks in all my serums and everything I put on my face. That's why I really like this formula. It just adds that extra protection before bed that locks everything in, adds that moisture, and I just feel like works for my skin. I know there's like hit and miss things about La Mer out there, but for me, I can see a difference when I'm using it, honestly. So that's why I really like it. For my facial tan, I like the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Mist. I had the big size of it and the formula went all funky, which shows that it was expired, which I didn't have it that long. So I like these little mini sizes because I don't use this that often and the mini size works well enough for me that it will never expire. So I just can't get that big size. So when they offer minis, I try and get those. I have a Jouer Lip Enhancer, one of my favorite lip balms of all time, and another favorite lip balm of all time I've added to the rotation is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. Went through a mini of those too. I love minis. We have the KDS Nail Glue, which is the longest wearing nail glue that I've found. I get this on Amazon when you're wanting press on nails. We have the Burt's Bees facial cleansing towelettes that I don't purchase towelettes anymore, but if they're sent to me, I will use. These were okay, but again, I'm not a big fan of facial towelettes. Then I have the Kiss Impress Manicure. I love these. I always have these on my nails. This is my favorite designs that they came out with. They're called the Bare But Better. They just look really natural. They will honestly go with anything. So that's why I really like this whole collection they came out with. The Glamnetic Baby Girl Lashes. I finally retired this pair. <laughs> this is my favorite style of lash ever in their magnetic because I was having issue with lash glue, which I'm currently not for some reason, so I'm just rolling with it. But these are really nice magnetic ones. They are pricey, but you get like 60 plus uses out of these. You get so many uses, it's worth it. Then I used up the Avon Skin So Soft Oil Wash. This reminds me of my childhood, again. There's something nostalgic about this scent. I love this scent. Oh, I can't get enough. I don't even wanna throw this out because I like the scent of this so much. I don't know who used this in my life, but such positive memories coming back from that scent. I don't think I mentioned these two candles yet. I did go through a couple candles. I must have gone through more than this, but I had the Bath and Body Works Pink Pineapple Sunrise. They sent me a bunch of this collection in PR. And this smells like summer, so I just finished this one. And then I also have one of my Forever Mood candles. This is Left on Red. And this smells like the comforter from Lush, if you like that scent. Forever Mood, again, one of my favorite candle companies. And then my last thing that I have in this haul is the toothpaste I use. I always get questions about my teeth, their whiteness. I don't do any sort of whitening, I just use this. <laughs> this is the Colgate Optic White Renewal. I use any of the Optic Whites, honestly, but this one is the Renewal that's supposed to Remove 10 years of yellow stains. I used to drink coffee. I do drink red wine, but not very often. So I don't really get staining, but even when I drank those two more regularly, 
I still have always had fairly white teeth and I've been using this literally for years. I don't remember a time not using that. Whenever it first came out, I was using Optic White from Colgate. And that is everything from my empties bin. I hope you guys enjoyed my empties for this time. I actually had majority of new stuff. Like I wasn't repeating myself for old empties. So this was a really good empties. I got to share my opinion on some new stuff, which is always fun. So let me know what products that you use up all the time, anything you recommend to me. I always love to know what you love in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching, for spending some time with me. I hope you're enjoying your summer, being safe and happy. And I will be back after this video. I think I should be back to my regular schedule and we'll get back to all your comments because I would have been on a social media detox. So thank you guys for tuning in today. I love you so, so much. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.